Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks Part 2 of this. I started thinking about when it was, uh, the other video was loading. Another way you could do it, and I wish I would have saved that, the length of the, because I made this quite a bit bigger, just to see if it was the, pretty close to the same. But if we grab this with our shape tool, and if we um, click on this node right here and do, break it apart, and then go all the way over here and take that node and break it apart, and then take our virtual segment delete key and delete that line, and then delete these interior lines, because we're just worried about the length. So this is a lot smoother. There's actually some little edges right there. Uh, I'm going to take away that and that. And we can grab the shape tool and let's get rid of that one node. Let's get rid of these two nodes. And let's get rid of that one. So this is closer to our line length, probably. Now it is a curve. So now we have to do is go to Windows, Dockers, and Properties and hit right here. Now that is 60.78 inch of the line. And it's just, you know, it it's having to go around this instead of going back and forth. But if you actually contoured that, um, you might even better get it closer, go to there and contour. You can see what we normally do to the outside. Uh, let's go 0.1 to the outside. And really, this will help a lot, I think. Let's uh, close that down. You know what? I need to contour in red. Let's go back, go to effects and contour. Let's contour, well, let's leave it. A lot of times it's easier to make this red and then contour in black. So what we're gonna do now is go to object and break the contour part. We'll go ahead and get rid of our red but now we want this inside line. The out. This one is the outside of the line. And I explained in the first video the, uh, about this that you don't. You're not going to put it right on the edge. So let's do the same thing with the shape tool. Just select that node and break it apart. Go to the opposite end and pick one of these and, and break it apart. And then take your virtual segment delete key and delete one of the lines. And this is going to be more to the inside. Now it is a curve. So we can grab there and now you can see it's 58. It's shorter because it's inside that, that curvature. Now, once again, it's, it's going, you know, if it, if the word didn't have any T's and stuff like that, that's going back and forth. Of course, you could always, uh, you're probably not going to put the lights right here. So we can grab those two nodes and delete them. Delete that one. Let's see what the other end looks like. Probably wouldn't put a light there. So grab your shape tool and just delete that node. And delete that node. Now let's look at it. Our curve is only, well, it's still 58, but it is shorter. That might, that might be the scenario. Because this would be going up and around, up and around, and, you know, you could, with the exception of that right there, you could follow that line. It'll be on the inside. I wish I hadn't deleted my word. So you can kind of, oh man, I, I really don't. Let me see if I can back up. Kind of maybe help explain it. I'm gonna get back to where we had the contour. Yes, this will work. So I'm gonna go up to a object what's well, already evidently in grouped. So there is our, this is our, our word. Okay. This is our contour. And well, that, I must've just backed up perfectly. So if this is our, tell you what we'll do, we'll make this black, like it's the text. Of course, we've lost some of the inside part, but if we, and I wish I hadn't have moved it. You know what I can do is take this black and go up to the uh, transparency tool and make it lighter. Make it a little bit lighter.
And then go EC, and you can see that red line is in the center and off the edge of the font, so it's going to be closer calibration. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.